Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm... It's so hot right now, but it's cool. Okay, maybe, cool. maybe it's going to rain later and then uh, the weather improves a little. <laughs> <laughs> a little. And the rest of you, how are you doing today? Hi, miss. Hi, how are you hey. doing? Uh, I'm tired. We are all tired. <laughs> yes. Today uh, was a hard day uh, with my students. Uh, we had a presentation in our high school. Uh, so it, it was funny, but very hard. Uh, since uh, 7 a.m. to 6, 16, yes, 16. To 7 a.m. or p.m.? 7, 7 a.m., yes, a.m. Oh, okay, from 7 to 8. Uh, no, 7 to it's 16, 16, 4 p.m. Oh, it's, wow. Yeah, you must be tired. But I think- uh, At four o'clock in the afternoon, it's so crazy. <laughs> yes, a lot of times. It's like, uh, I think that, it, no, no, it's like a long parade. I don't know. <laughs> no. It's extreme, no. extreme. Plus, uh, it was a uh, presentation to different hours. Oh, different presentations at different times during those during that time. Yes, but after the first presentation, we had a, a little uh, practice, and after the the next presentation, next uh, the lunch, but we had another practice and so well that was our routine or a routine yeah okay yeah. well so uh, uh, are you going to work tomorrow yes i have i have okay but it's the last day and then i i suppose that you get the uh, weekends off yes Okay, and we also remember that it's the, um, so we stopped classes today and then we have our August break. So at least you're going to be able to go to bed earlier those days. <laughs> uh, I see that most of you have uh, worked a lot in the platform, which is great. Uh, if you can finish, go ahead and do it and then you will be free of that. I sent the presentation for today before the class. Uh, I'm going to add a couple of more slides, so, but during the, the weekend maybe, and then I'm going to uh, resend the outdated presentation for you. I also reported the problem that you were having that uh, the platform is not recognizing the final exam, but I got ghosted. You know what it means? No? Ah, vamos a discutirlo ahora. Lo vamos a hacer público todo. Mentira, mentira. Estoy sacando. Okay. My stress. I know, but yeah, I was ghosted as well. It's Thursdays. <laughs> Yes. Tomorrow is Friday. Is it the last day of the week? Yes. Hopefully Friday. Yeah, I don't know about Friday. We got the feeling that okay, it's the last day, and then going to uh, be off for the weekend, and that's gonna be fine. 
Sorry. Yeah. One day, one day more. Yes, another day, another dollar. But anyways, then we got. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I wrote to the chat that we have with the administration, and I um I tell them and I remind them about the problem that you are having. But I was just ghosted. Me dejaron en visto. Ahí se los escribí en el chat para que lo sepan decir en inglés. <laughs> okay, so, but my recommendation for you is to write directly to Miss Elena. Tal vez si le escriben directamente a ella, porque a veces en el grupo, bueno, ella escribió, lo escribí yo, inmediatamente ustedes reportaron que seguían teniendo ese problema, pero en ese momento ellos estaban mandando esos mensajes a todos los grupos, entonces yo lo, lo reporté también en el otro chat que tenemos, y pues no me dieron respuesta. Así que lo que les recomiendo ya eh, mejor decírselo a ella personalmente um, a su número para que les resuelvan ese problema. Porque si no, no obtuve respuesta. Uh, so, uh, we're going to start today with uh, section number four. Uh, let me see. This is the presentation that I sent you. Uh, so that's back to the future. So in this time, we're going to be practicing and reviewing um, different tenses in English. So this is the first uh, slide that I sent you. So as you can see here, uh, it says, past, present, and future. I know that sometimes it is kind of difficult to mix or to know what is the tense that we're going to use, right? So um, we're going to be to talking about this, how was in the past, in the present, and in the future. So we're gonna have to be patient because I, um, I know that is kind of confusing sometimes to be combining the times. So um, I volunteered to read about entertainment. I was um, uh, for ready, uh, for the past, for the present, and the future. Me, teacher. Okay, Stephanie. Entertainment, past, radio, and movies. Present, computer games, haze definition TV, HD TV and 3D movies, future, south control video games and virtual, relative movies. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Jose, transportation. Okay, transportation, bus, railroads and ocean liners, present, hybrid cars, high speed trains, and a spacecraft, future, self-driving cars, GPS shoes, GPS shoes, and time machines. <laughs> Crazy, right? GPS shoes. <laughs> wow. That's not convenient for some people. <laughs> no, I uh, have no. No, no, no. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, 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 no me gusta. <laughs> I have heard about Brussels. It's not a good not idea. <laughs> okay, communications. Jose, um, I think, uh, ¿quién es? Jose acaba de leer, ¿verdad? Jesús, creo que tenía levantada la mano. Jesús, communication? Yes, uh, communication. Pass the telephone and the postal system. Present. There's mesa messaging video phones and social networking. Yes. Future cell phone implants, a sensory internet, and 3D social networking. 3D social networking. Okay. So let us discuss the following question. Which of these past and present developments are the most important? We have another question. Do you think any of the future development could happen in your lifetime? 
And the last question, can you think of two other developments that could happen in the future? Okay, so we have uh, three questions that we may discuss in groups. Remember that you already have this material. I sent it over Radio. WhatsApp. Radio. So we're going to discuss these three questions in groups. Let me go ahead and create the breakout rooms for you to discuss the these three questions and practice speaking. Okay, I think it's three to four. It's okay. Good evening, Marielos. I'm going to assign you to a group so you can practice with your classmates.
Okay, now that everybody is back again in the main section, we're going to practice this conversation. The topic is this neighborhood has changed. So let us watch the video. Let me share my audio with you. And we're going to play that out. Okay. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so um, we have a similar conversation here. It's um, it's a different drawing, but it's kind of like the same. Can you identify the tenses that are used in this conversation? So, so, more or less. For example, in this one, if it says, um, let me change here this thing. Okay, in this part, when it says not many people lived here, what is this tense? Simple past. Simple past, okay. But the population is growing so fast these days. Present. Nice yeah, present. yeah, present continuous can be. Now, uh, remember how we used to rent video tapes? Past. Simple past. Simple past. 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 Now it's a multiplex cinema. Present. Simple past. Present. They are going to build a shopping mall. Future. 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 So as you see, different tenses in a single conversation. So this is what we are going to be practicing uh, in this section before moving on. So I'm going to ask you to continue practicing this conversation, but I'm going to play this maybe. Okay, it's ready here. So we're going to do it a little bit different. You're not going to repeat after me, you're going to repeat after the recording. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Uh, can you see this little square here with the conversation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Try to make yes. it bigger. So. Okay, I'm going to play and then I'm going to pause and don't feel, don't fall asleep, please. I'm going to pause and then you're going to repeat. Unit 9. Times have changed. Page 58, exercise 2, conversation. That's progress. 
Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I. This neighborhood. This neighborhood sure has changed. No, a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. I know. Oh, I know. A few years ago, years ago, ago not many, many people, people live here. The population is growing so fast these days. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at that little video store? Remember, remember, remember how we used to rent at that video store? Yeah, now it's a multiplex cinema. And I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. And I hear That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. That's because, That's because everyone, 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 everyone has a car with a car. Here's 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 a Pay attention and then you tell me what else has changed in the neighborhood. So pay attention. Page 58, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a hair salon. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick you up. Great. Did you get it or do you want to listen again? Again, please. Again, listen, listen again. again. Listen again. Okay. Page 58, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a hair salon. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick you up. Great. I can't. Okay, awesome. So, what else has changed? The bookstore. The bookstore. The and now, I, I, okay, uh, there was an old bookstore and now it is a hair salon. Okay, what else? The restaurant. The restaurant. The is still it, there. It has, okay, yeah, the, the restaurant, restaurant now because it is still there. Okay, so good yeah. job. Now I'm going to recreate the section group so that you can practice this conversation. It's an option. You you ask it. Ask. Henry.
can we share the, the screen? I think no. Yes, yes you oh, can. The teacher. Okay. You are going to share your screen, Byron? Yes, I'm okay. looking for the the uh, diet. Oh, just I can find it. <laughs> I can share if you want. Yeah, please. I can find it on the. Oh, great. Okay. Is it, I am on my phone. Did you That's see? Why. Yes, huh? thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Who's going who wanna be Tanya? I, I want to be Tanya. Okay. So I can try to be Matt. Okay, okay. Okay, <clears throat> okay you start. This neighbor sure has I perdón, perdón, I said no. This neighborhood sure has chain 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 yet? Change. Change. Okay, okay. I know a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at the little video store? Yeah, now it's a multiplex cinema. And I hear there's tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. So there will be used malls and parking lots. It's Zoom, no, some. <laughs> On the one that you said, it's soon there will be just malls and parking lots. It has to be soon. And the math is that's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. That's progress, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Me perdí. No, I was. Estaba repitiendo eh, que cuando dijiste tu parte, they are going to build a shopping mall. Uh -huh. There is the uh -huh. word Zoom, and uh -huh. you said I think some. <laughs> okay, okay, lo siento. <laughs> no, don't worry. Okay, the next two. Um, Tania. Cristina, could we? Yes. And this neighborhood sure has changed. I know, a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at that little video store? Yeah, now it is a multi multiplex cinema. And I hear they're digging down on high school. They, they are going to build Shopping mall soon, there will be just mall and parking lot. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walk everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. That's progress, I guess. Yes. Thank for all of I can be Tanya now and someone can be Matt. Do a change in practice. So I'm going to start. It's going to be Tanya. This neighborhood sure has changed. Um, Who is Matt? I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, well, I try. Mm, I know a few years ago, not many people live here. But the population is growing so fast this day. This day. 
Remember how we used to rent videotapes in that little video store? In that video little store? Yeah, not. Uh, now it's a uh, multiplex cinema. And I heard they are tearing down our high school. They are going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walk uh, everywhere. Nowadays, they're dry. That's progress, I guess. Uh, teacher, uh, what what is tearing down? Tearing down, es como demoliendo. Oh, okay, thank you. Tearing down. And I heard they tearing down all high school. Okay, uh, for the verbs in simple past, you remember how many uh, uh, pronunciations ending sounds we have in the simple past, you remember? Yeah, it's for the ones who ends in as a vowel and consonant, I think. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? Ooh, it's with D, not or with T. E. Or T. E. And no, I don't remember the other one. Changed. Used. Uh -huh. Changed. Used or used. Used. Now, what about lived? This is lived. 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 Uh huh. Lived. So it's with just D. like the sound at the end. Uh huh. The mm -hmm. sound at the end. Lived. Lived here. In used is the same. Used. 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 Uh huh. Uh-huh. So like, uh -huh. Used. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember how we used to. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh huh. Remember how we used to rent. Now about this one, people walked. Ese tiene el T sound at the end. Walked. People walked. Walk. Uh-huh. People walked everywhere. Casi no se su no suena. With T. Uh-huh. People walked everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But but it's different at the at the, the rule, right? Uh-huh. Ese son tres. It's a exception. Um, no, son tres sonidos in the simple past. Mm. Tres diferentes pronunciaciones. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. oh. Ya la vamos a repasar en la sección principal. Ok, thanks. Uh -huh. Y voy a agregar una slide más para que practiquemos al regresar de la vacación. <laughs> ok. Ok, okay you want to practice one more time? The, hmm? When is going to be starting the vacation? Uh, Here. today. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and so next week, no classes. No oh, classes next week until Monday, August 9th. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Do you want to practice one more time or you leave? We can try it another one or someone else who's want to exchange for Tanya to Matt. Okay, me. This neighborhood should, sure has changed. Matt died. Oh, he left. <laughs> <laughs> he left us. Let okay. me well, there is no time to finish another okay. round. So, okay. bye bye. Get in the breakout room. <laughs> bye. Bye. Okay, so these, um, program allows us 16 minutes, uh, 60 minutes, uh, no, 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 60 minutes is an hour, like <laughs> 60 seconds before the, the um, 
the section ends, so you can uh, take advantage of those minutes. Or, or if you're leaving, just you can just say goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, how was it? Was it easy or was it difficult? How do you feel that practice? I think that uh, if uh, uh, enjoy the practice, it's very easy. That's okay. my opinion. It's nice to hear that you enjoy the practice. Okay. Um, yeah. I think for it's me, really, it, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. For me, it's difficult for the pronunciation. For example, popul population. Uh huh. Population, population, come on, popu, population, Popu. population. And no way days. Nowadays. Now, nowadays. Now, nowadays. 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 Mm -hmm. For me, it was just for the last thing we saw that it's for the sounds that you are typing right now. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Is a little bit more about that. Uh, nice that um, you are expressing that you would like to practice more uh, about the, the, the about this. Um, I was, um, yes, that is another verb in simple past. Now, remember that in the simple past, regular verbs, Remember, there are two kinds of verbs, regulars and irregular. And for simple past, regular verbs are the ones that follow the ED rule at the end, okay? But there are three different pronunciation, right? For example, how do you pronounce this one? Visera. Visera. Uh-huh. It is like it at the end. So no, we don't pronounce it visited. So we say visited. It's like it visited. at the end, visited. Uh-huh, visited, right? So last weekend I visited my parents, for example. Now, what about this one? You don't say like it. How do you pronounce this? Light. Like it. No like, like. it. Like, 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 is that that. Is? <laughs> okay, so those are the three different um, simple past regular verb um, ED endings that we are going to practice uh, when we come back from vacation. Vamos a practicar esto porque pues nos hemos dado cuenta que necesitamos como hacer un review de eso. Vamos, les voy a agregar una... Voy a agregar unas par de diapositivas y voy a ponerles cuando se pronuncia con id, cuando es t sound at the end y cuando es the sound at the end. Les voy a agregar eso. Este, escríbanme en el chat, por favor, para que no se me vaya a olvidar. Porque después como que, como que les iba. Ok. Eh, so, vamos a trabajar en eso. Entonces, cuando regresemos, acuérdense que Hoy es el último día de clases para la eh, vacación de agosto. No se termina el módulo. Todavía nos faltan como seis clases después de esta para terminar el módulo. Vamos a regresar el 9 de agosto. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Y There entonces... Be homework. Homework. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just the plan. <laughs> no, pueden, este, les voy a, voy a ajustar la presentación, eh, les voy a mandar lo que voy a agregar y voy a tratar de mandarles ambas secciones juntas, la sección 4 y la 5, por si la, ustedes tienen el chance de imprimir, impriman a, las presentaciones y traten de avanzar con los ejercicios para que, pues, eh, es, 
por si quieren seguir practicando en ese tiempo. E igual, y si no, para cuando ya regresemos ya tienen Nowadays. eso. Nowadays. Okay, we have this short practice. It says complete this passage with the verbs in the box. Use the past, present, or future tenses. And we have some verbs here. We have buy, change, drive, go, have, have to, leave, sell, it's twice, and use. Uh, you have to read the passage and then you have to place the correct verb in the correct tense. We have the first one already done. It says, in many countries nowadays, food shopping takes very little time. In the past, people used to go to a different shop for each type of item. So, ahí tenemos que el go se utilizó con el used to, used to go, porque aquí me estaba indicando que el verbo iba a ir, íbamos a usar un pasado, used to go, solían ir, right, used to go. Now, I'll give you time for you to read and decide which ones go in these spaces. Lo pueden ir escribiendo en su cuaderno como leer. Ver cuál van a poner aquí y escribirlo tal cual sería en su cuaderno. No es necesario que escriban todo el párrafo. Ok. Teacher, um, I am, have a question. Butcher, what does it mean? Which word? In the ah, a butcher's four line. carnicería. Yes. Carnicería. Ah, la butcher shop. Butcher, así hasta donde está la N, es carnicero, es la persona. Butcher. Butcher. Ajá, ese butcher. es el carnicero. Ahí dice butcher shop, es carnicería. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Have you finished? Not yet. Not yet? It started to rain here, so I had to go and close the windows. <laughs>
Okay, ready to check your answers? Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. So here we are. Hi. Uh huh. So there, in, in this case, let's see. In many countries nowadays, food shopping takes very little time. In the past, people used to go to a different shop for each type of item. For example, you bought, that is one option. You may have bought or used to buy. Both are correct. Uh, so for example, you bought meat at a butcher shop and fish at a fish market. Now, a fruit market sold or used to sell fruit and vegetables. For dry goods like rice or beans, you had to go to the grocery stores. To Today, go. the supermarket or superstore sells all these things. Once every week or two, people drive in their cars to these huge right. stores to buy everything. Not only food, but also clothes, electronic goods, furniture, and medicine. But in the future, the way we shop will change again. Nowadays, many people have a computer at home. Soon, maybe no one will leave home to go on shopping. Everyone will use their computers to order everything online. So those are the answers that you should have. Um, is there any question or some doubt you have about this exercise? No, for now. Nowadays, many people. Were all your answers correct? Yes. Yes, all I'm answers sorry, correct? No. <laughs> oh, I, I already made the changes. <laughs> In the next page. Okay. All right, so we're going to go on the platform. Oh. And watch the video. Everyone will use the. Okay, so we're going to move to time contrast. Let me share it sound again. Let me share. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, 
are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, so we have that here in time contrast. In this, uh, we're going to practice what we already um, learned in the video from the platform. But before that, do you have any question in regards of this? Or is that clear? How do you feel that? Is it easy? Is it difficult? I think it's for me middle difficult. Okay. Maybe we have to, to remember or to go back to the to the verse when it's at the, the right moment that we need to change it. I think that it's gonna be like okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> nice to hear that. So with time contrast, yes, we're going to review especially the simple past because of, yeah, we need to review that and also to check on pronunciation here. Uh, about this, uh, how, when do we use past, present and future? It will depend of what you want to express and you can, um, make like separated sentences that are related. For example, if you use the expression um, as a child, so that means that you're going to express something in the past. Entonces, cuando vamos a usar algo en pasado o a decir algo en pasado, podemos utilizar expresiones como decir as a child o las que están aquí a few years ago. Um, people used to or 50 years ago y utilizar el verbo en pasado simple como aquí a few years ago not many people lived aquí estamos utilizando el verbo en pasado simple pero si utilizamos el used to used to entonces como esto ya me está indicando pasado el verbo principal lo dejo en forma simple used to rent Eh, y podemos ir haciendo oracioncitas separadas y combinando esos tiempos. Le voy a hacer un ejemplo ahorita. Eh, vamos a clear all drawings here. And text again. Uh, o oh, pongamos. Porque dejo de escribir esta cosa. As a child, so we can say that as a child, I used to spend all my money in candies. Como ven, estoy usando el, el used to, lo cual ya indica pasado. Entonces, el verbo principal lo voy a dejar así. I used to spend all my money in candies. Y luego eh, voy a hacer otra oración usando cómo es ahora esto en el presente. Nowadays, puedo usar esta expresión. Nowadays, I save, lo cual es mentira. Bueno, trato. Nowadays, I... I, I have a candy in my bag. <laughs> I save money 
by not buying candies and not buy any more candies, right? So, antes está, so nowadays, ya esta es una expresión que está indicando presente. Entonces el verbo lo dejo así, en presente simple. Nowadays I save money. So, así es como van a ir. No es necesario eh, que como que unamos los tres tiempos juntos, ¿verdad? Lo que estamos viendo en presente, pasado, futuro. Va a depender. Lo que pueden hacer es ir practicando así, juntando oracioncitas en diferentes tiempos relacionadas a una misma idea. Así como este sí. pequeño ejemplo. Teacher, ¿Sí? uh -huh. nowadays no se escribe juntos. Sí. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. ¿Algo más que quieran agregar, comentar, añadir antes que nos vayamos? No. Ok, so. I hope uh, everyone uh, enjoys yes. their <laughs> vacation because I want. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, we need to sleep. So we I enjoyed also... it for you, Byron. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Very fun day. We visited. We visited. In... No. Ok. Yeah, so uh, enjoy, guys. Take care. Be safe. Remember to be Take safe. Care. Wear your mask. And uh, see you on Monday, be August the 9th. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, a commenter. Yeah, uh, if you drink, don't drive, please. Don't, uh -huh. <laughs> don't abuse. Yes, if you drink, <laughs> don't, don't drive. Dice. <laughs> yes? Es eh, fíjese de que a varios nos está saliendo en la plataforma, yes. que ya, ya la terminamos y, 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 y ahí nos dejan el 60%. Yes. Entonces, a, a, no sé, ahora como tres personas informaron eso para que usted le comente a Jason. Eh, sí. Yo lo puse ahora en el grupo porque mi Selena escribió que quería que tuviéramos el 80% para la okay. próxima inscripción. Y ya terminé yo la plataforma y siempre me sale con el 60%. Ajá, igual a mí. En mi caso no, a mí ya me aparece con el 100%, pero en la parte que dice total, me aparece una parte con un color, una parte con como, como un rosado, después un ocre y después una parte gris para el 100%. Y donde dice final, me aparece gris todo, pero a mí ya me tira el 100%. Ah, bueno, no, entonces no. sí, a lo mejor ya están trabajando en ello. Vamos a estar pendientes. Ok. Ok. Bye, take care. Ok. Bye. 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 Bye.